Hello everyone, welcome to in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to see the next operator known as backward shift operator. So but before that, we know the forward shift operator E of f of x is nothing but the next term that is f of x plus h. Okay, if we have the f of x here, then this term is f of x plus h where the interval is h, then E of f of x is next term that is f of x plus h. This is the forward shift operator. The backward shift operator is represented by E of minus 1 f of x so that is we will shift f of x backwards so if we have the line here and this is our f of x then this will be f of x plus h then backward will be f of x minus h the backward shift operator is e inverse e inverse of f of x is nothing but the backward term that is f of x minus h so this is the backward shift operator we can again take we can take this backward shift operator multiple times so we will have e of minus of e inverse of e inverse of f of x so e inverse of f of x is f of x minus h so we have e inverse of that is this e inverse and this term from here we get f of x minus h so this term is nothing but backward shift of f of x minus h so now we are here and we are taking the backward shift from here so backward shift from here will be the next term so here will be f of x minus 2h so this will be e of minus 2 minus 1 and minus 1 will become minus 2 of f of x is nothing but f of x minus 2h and if we take the third shift backward shift of f of x we will get f of x minus 3h so in general e of minus r f of x is nothing but f of x minus r h so this is the generalized formula of backward shift operator so these are the operators and the more such operators we will see in our next video so stay tuned for our future lectures